A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Hey, I'm Pitmaster X, and today I'm going to show you how to make a proper cowboy rib roast. But before we get started, I want to talk to you about our website. We got all of the most amazing recipes on there, and I know you're looking for something special for Thanksgiving. That's right. This and much more on pitmasterx.com. Go check it out after the video. Look at this beautiful Irish piece of meat. Oh, there's something about slapping meat, and I know it's upsetting to some people, but to me personally, it's really satisfying. Just, and I know most men know what I'm talking about, but it's just like that feel, like it's good, you know? I do want to clean this beautiful piece of meat up before we're gonna cook it because like, there's a lot of silver skin here, and uh, I just wanted to be the best it can be. Make it look beautiful. The first thing is to clean up the bones. I'm gonna take my butcher's hook and I'm gonna rake between the silver skin and the bones. This allows me to make an opening and take off all the things that I don't want on my ribs. Then I'm gonna do some cleaning up, taking off the silver skin, and eventually I'm going to tie up our beautiful roast to give it some volume. And of course, real cowboys need real flavor. That's why I'm gonna use mustard. And in my experience, with a big roast like this, you're gonna need a lot of flavor on the outside to make up for the fact that you can't get flavor on the inside. So don't worry about ruining the roast with all of this mustard that I'm slattering on, because I'm still gonna experience this beautiful piece of meat and all of the flavors that are on the inside while I build up a crust on the outside, which is basically a bonus. Now that I have my mustard on, I'm gonna add flavor. And this is a unique one, but I'm adding real fine chopped onion. Of course, I wanna have fresh garlic. We know why. Do I need to explain why we need garlic? Imagine living without garlic. If the world never discovered garlic. Just give it a minute, let it sink in. Of course, some fresh parsley, and look at that beautiful crust. And to boost the flavors, some fleur de sel salt, a little salt bay. And of course, we gotta sprinkle on my favorite, fresh ground peña pepper. No, 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 it's not sponsored. I am sponsoring. I could go to the Peña Mountains and sit beside a, a, a pepper plant all day and just eat the fresh berries that are on these trees. Now that's what I call a crust. Let's fire up our Napoleon Kettle Grill. I set up a Napoleon Grill with a direct and indirect zone, and I'm placing my rib roast over the indirect zone. And of course with the bones down, so if we might have any radiation heat, it's gonna be protected by the bones and our meat is gonna get succulent and juicy. And all I need to do now is stick in a thermometer. Of course, I'm gonna use my meter thermometer and I'm gonna stick it in the center. There we go, now I'm closing the lid and I'm gonna let this smoke at a temperature of around 120 to 140 degrees Celsius until we get that beautiful, succulent, juicy meat. I can see on my meter app that we've been running for almost two hours and we've been steadily running at a temperature of around 140 degrees Celsius. As you can see, I checked a couple of times just to make sure everything was going right. And what I found out was that I needed to put in a little bit of aluminum foil to protect the ribs. And as you can see, we got that beautiful red smoke color, beautiful juicy beef. So this thing is done and it's time to take it off. What an absolute beauty. There's one thing I always want to do when I cook one of these rib roasts, and that is take a bite out of it, straight up. Mm. Oh my, it's ridiculous. I miss the holidays, I miss this. 
Wow. <laughs> now, no, you're not gonna do that because you got gas coming over and you don't wanna be acting like me because that, that won't be appreciated. So don't be like me, be a nice guy, take a fork and knife and just slice it up. It's so soft. And it's so tender. This stuff is so good, it's amazing. This might be the only roast in the whole wide world that can defeat a steak. And that's some serious business. Irish beef, beautifully red, and like it was, we, I sliced into it and it was insane red. I thought I didn't cook it all the way through, but I did. All right, it's on the rare side, but the beef was beautifully red and it has so much flavor. It's all that uh, hemoglobina. That's the stuff. Hemoglobin, I think it's in English. That crust, man. The flavors in it. All those warm winter, winter style roast flavors from that rub. I can't get enough of the crust, it's amazing. This is absolutely perfect. This is the perfect cowboy rib roast. We had some visitors the last time. We, had, we were recording videos and like, look at how it shreds up. It's just like, just tearing up a piece of bread and you can eat this. I feel like caveman. I feel so uncivilized, but I love this. Mm. Real manly. Everyone should do this. Yeah. Tear up meat with your hands and then eat it with your bare fists. Mm -hmm. mm. I almost finished the whole thing already. It's going quick. <laughs> Didn't you have that feeling that you missed this? Yeah. It's coming back It's been back too long. Yeah, it's I can't back. remember the last time we made one of these. But I'm so happy the time is here right now. Yeah. And we can start eating these again. Like we might do something like this in the summer, but it's just different. Yeah. It hits you different. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be cold, like with a warm roast. So while we chow down on this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you watch another one after this. Yeah. Just go ahead, just sit down, relax, get a beer, watch another video. Big thanks to our patrons and our YouTube members and hope to see you guys next time. In the same in the video, they're gonna watch it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch it right now. Cheers. I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, what is in a couple of minutes or seconds? It's magic. And keep on grinning. If we wouldn't had that that board right here, mm. we couldn't dip the the meat in the juices. We would be in serious trouble. Yeah. Our pants would be soaking wet with juices.